Hey everyone! Today I'm taking you with me in some cleaning and chores around the house. I'm a working from home mom and usually you see my embroidery videos, but since I was asked a lot about the everyday aspect of running a business and working from home, I thought I will share this one as well. So I loaded the dryer and then went to fold some laundry. I usually like to fold laundry while I'm standing and since I'm about 20 weeks pregnant here, it's just easier for me. You're probably wondering why I hang our laundry in the living room. So we live in an apartment in Givatime, Israel, which is right next to Tel Aviv, which is more familiar a city, I guess. We do have a laundry room and a small rack outside. Well, outside the window, we don't have a balcony, but as I said, it is too small for one or more loads. And in the winter, there is no sun there, so it will take forever to dry. We don't have a balcony, as I said, and the sun is the best in this spot. So yeah, sometimes it's just in the living room. I like to sort my laundry as I'm folding it and usually I'm putting everything in a laundry basket but I have to get one because we don't have any <laughs> so I'm putting away everything now I store the rack in the laundry room I guess you see it in the end of the video and this is Adam's room two almost two and a half uh, years old and all of his clothes are mainly in this dresser because we are trying to imply as many as fit to our family uh, of the Montessori, um, I don't know, methods, I will say. And I want his clothes to be in his reach. Okay, so this is our bedroom. Most of our clothing are in this wardrobe. It's not big, but we are trying to have less things and be more thoughtful about what we keep. So it fits all of our clothes. We have some um, off-season clothes under the bed, which you'll, you will see in a minute. And I do like to hang most of my clothes so I can see everything I have. And now I'm going to make the bed. I do... I do not like um, this um, cover for the uh, for the blanket. Well, this blanket you see now, I made it a few years ago. It's fleece and it's super cozy and I can't find this um, length of uh, fabric to make another one in a different color. And I also don't really like <laughs> anymore the color of this um, uh, cover for the blanket. But anyways, this is what we have now. I do have uh, more sheets that I do like, but they're in the laundry. We mostly have uh, white sheets. I think it gives everything like a cozier look and more expensive look maybe. I'm putting away dishes and loading the dishwasher. It's pretty small, so we use it once or twice a day. And we do hope to renovate this kitchen, maybe in a year or two, because it does look kind of pretty, but it's so uncomfortable. It doesn't work for us as a family and soon to be a family of four, but it is what it is and we make the most of it.
We usually clean the house every Friday. My husband and I switch turns, but sometimes I just give the sink some love. <laughs> and probably in the middle of the week. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it looks a little bit dirty. And we have some stains of sauce and stuff like that. So I'm just spraying something, uh, scrubbing it a little bit and just wash it away. If you made it this far in the video, I guess you liked it. <laughs> so I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And it's just another way to remind you that you can subscribe to my channel. And another thing is, I would love to know how do you um, work from home, especially if you're a mom. Um, my kid is going to daycare, so I can do my chores and uh, prepare food or work, obviously, while he's in daycare. Um, but I would love, would love to know how it is in your place, in your country, in your household. How do you make it work for you? Wow, as I'm watching my video, like while I'm editing, I do leave the tap open too long and it's fast forwarding the process. <laughs> so I just learned something about myself. We do this almost every single day, so I'm fixing up the sofa. I'm just or reorganizing the pillows. I don't have a specific order because it's going to get messy again in like an hour <laughs> when my kid is coming home. Um, but it's nice to see everything organized and neat. Okay, now it's time to work for a little while while I'm waiting for the dryer to finish. I'm just going to do some customer service work, answering clients, um, working on some custom orders that I need to do on the computer, maybe editing some videos, um, going through my email, stuff like that. If you're new here, so my business is called Tata Sol. It's named after my great grandmother. You can read all about it in my website. And I'm uh, creating, developing, making uh, embroidery kits and patterns. I also sell embroidery supplies and stuff like that. Uh, you can check out the link in the description box to visit my site. Most of my work is done on the computer. I do need to um, embroider and I usually feel myself embroider when I'm making new designs. I do also have to package the kits, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, and then when I have stock, I only need to package every order when it comes in. And I usually like to do batch working. It's a really a thing now. So I like to do all my computer work in the same day and for a different day I will do packaging and shooting videos and stuff that doesn't really necessarily need me on the computer. I'm taking the linen out of the dryer and I think it's a really good time to clean the linen box. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, 
I clean the lint box every time, well, almost every time I'm taking stuff out of the dryer, but once every, I would say, two months, I like to deep clean it and really take everything um, that's getting stuck inside and all around it so everything will work smoothly and also just to make it look nicer and cleaner. I like to take care of our stuff. I think it's important and it's important for my son to learn that. We do give him uh, some stuff to do like helping around the house. He knows um, how to put um, dirty clothes in the washing machine and how to rotate the machines and moving everything to the uh, dryer. So he's really a good little helper. But this is something I do by myself, obviously. <laughs> but even if he's watching me, I think it's a good example for him. almost done with the thing that I plan to like clean up today and the last thing is folding the towels and the linens I took out of the dryer. I do have a specific way to fold every single um, towel and my husband sometimes doesn't follow along <laughs> but uh, if I do it I do it my way and that's good for me and if he doesn't do it my way then well I might remind him from time to time, but that's okay. This is our only spot in the house for towels and it's for us and our son. I do have some beach towels in a different closet, but it's a very small closet. So we don't have a lot of towels, which is good for us. And my son have, I think like three towels and we have um, five or six uh, sets that we rotate between us, like between me and my husband. And this is why I'm very specific about the way we fold them because it's a very small space.
Well, I think this is a very job well done and I deserve a treat. And as a working from home mom or person, <laughs> I eat only or like 97% of the time I eat at home and I do cook a lot if you want to see some um, cooking videos or meal prep meal preps I would love to um, show you how I do it um, but now I'm just making a snack some orange and some nuts and I'll just go back to working on my desk I guess <music> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation to clean your space and just get dressed and work from home like we all do, like <laughs> like we all do, like most of us do now. Um, if you want to see more of these videos or meal preps or clean with me or I don't know, stuff about my working schedule Please leave a comment, ask me any questions you have and I will be happy to answer them or making a special video about that. So I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!